Hey everybody, it's Brenda, your Queen Bee of RVs, coming to you from the National RV Training Academy with part two of our series, Decoding RVNEs. Today, we're continuing to sort through this strange RV language and provide you with some helpful information about wastewater tanks. Just about any RVer will tell you that two of the strangest RVNEs terms they heard early on were black and gray water. And learning their definitions is only part one. Understanding how they operate and how to maintain them can be just as puzzling because they live in this mysterious area under the coach that you might never lay eyes on. So let's take a closer look. Now first, not all RVs have both black and gray water tanks, especially older or vintage campers. RV wastewater tanks are located in the belly of your rig. They're rectangle in shape and the volume they can hold varies from camper to camper. These tanks are sometimes equipped with an electric sensor system that will send a signal to a monitor panel somewhere inside your unit, indicating how empty or full the current tank levels are. Heads up, it's super important to monitor the levels of your black and gray water tanks. Trust me on this one, you do not want to experience the results of letting them get too full. Now gray water is what goes down the drain from our sinks, showers, tubs, dishwasher, and washing machine if you're lucky enough to have those last two. In my Class C motorhome, I have a kitchen sink, a bathroom sink, and a shower. All of those plumbing lines dump into one holding area called the gray tank. Black water is what vacates from your RV toilet and it flows to, you guessed it, the black tank. This tank is always located straight under the toilet and it needs special care to keep everything operating properly and odor free. Now another RVNE's term heard in conjunction with these tanks is the stinky slinky. That's another way of referring to the sewer hose. If you utilize any of your sinks, showers, or toilet, you are definitely going to become familiar with the stinky slinky. And depending on where you camp, you'll also become familiar with how to offload the contents of your tanks. I've met some RV campers along the way that refuse to use their RV toilets simply because they don't want to face the dirty work at the end of the trip. Once you visit the dump station a few times, you'll get the hang of it. It's a rite of passage in your RV adventure and there's no sense paying for features in your RV just to avoid using them. I learned all of this and more at the National RV Training Academy where I became a certified RV inspector and registered technician, and you can too. Head over to nrvta.com and click on programs to find out more.